Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how easy it is to dockerize a Spring Boot application. Making a docker image of an application makes deployment and scaling of the application very easy and manageable with both in-house and cloud deployments. We will first take a quick look at the Spring Boot application we will be working with. This is a simple Spring Boot application in which we have created some REST endpoints. If you want to see how we build this application, please watch my video, Building REST-based web services with Spring Boot. Next, we will add a Docker Maven plugin provided by the folks at Spotify to our Maven file and using that, build our application. This build process will create a Docker image for our application. Next, we will see how to spawn containers using this Docker image and access the application from outside the container. So, let's get started. Alright, so here is our Spring Boot application which we had developed earlier. If you want to see how to build this then watch my video Building REST-based web services with Spring Boot. This simple application has Spring MVC layers. Using the REST-based web service, we are providing information about the person class. So the request mapping of all will provide a list of all persons and we can request a specific person with its ID using this other request mapping. I would not go into a lot of details about this application, so please watch the other video to get more details. Let us see this in action. Let us run this app as a Spring Boot app. It got started. Let us go to the browser and type localhost colon 8080 as Tomcat listens by default on port 8080 slash persons slash all. Here we see a JSON output of all persons. To get a specific person, we can put the person ID, say 1, and then we see it over here. So it is a simple Spring Boot application with REST endpoints. Let us see how we can dockerize it. Let us go to the browser and type docker maven plugin Spring Boot. It brings us to this link on GitHub for the Spotify slash docker maven plugin. Let us click here. Scrolling down, we see the link for specify build info for the POM. Let's click over here. It takes us to this section. Let us copy this plugin. Go to our Spring Boot project. Open the POM.xml file. Let us go down to the plugin section and paste our plugin. Let us remove the version and then it will pull the latest version. Let us have the base image based on Java colon 8. Let us give a name for our Docker image demo boot. So that is it. Now let us build our application. To illustrate this build, let us first go to our terminal and ensure that there are no current images. So here is the terminal. Let us type docker info to get more info about the docker version and such. Docker ps should show any running containers and we have none right now. Docker images should show any docker images we might have and we have none of those too. Alright. Now let us go back to our Spring Boot project, right click and say run as maven build. For the goal specify docker colon build and click run. The build starts. Now here we are running it on a Linux machine where docker is installed and the maven plugin has access to the docker command line. For Mac and Windows machines, you can install docker toolbox which comes with the docker quick start. Then using docker quick start terminal on Mac and Windows, you run the maven build command. It is important that you run the maven command from inside the docker quick start terminal. That way maven has access to the docker commands. It will download a bunch of stuff and may take some time to complete. Let me fast forward the video a little. So the build succeeded and it built our docker image and added our entry point and jar file. Going to our folders, here is the target folder inside which we have the docker folder, inside which we have the demo jar file and the docker file which our project build using the docker maven plugin has built for us. Now let us go to the terminal 
and see if we can see any images over here. Let us type docker images and here we see the java 8 base image it downloaded and the demo boot image image it built of our application. Let us run docker ps at this time there are no running containers. Let us spawn a container using this image. Let us type docker run hyphen it for interactive mode using hyphen p we map the container port to the host machine port. So port 9999 on the host machine is mapped to port 8080 inside the container as that is where Tomcat is running. Let us run it and now our container is up and running. Let us go to the browser and type HTTP localhost as we are running it on our local machine. You can also use the IP address of the Linux host virtual machine over here. Specify port 9999 slash persons slash 1 and it dishes the web page from the application running inside the container. Let us spawn another container. So here is another terminal window. This time let us map it to port 9998 on the host machine. The second container also starts. Going back to the browser we can now access the application inside the second container also using port 9998. So this is how easy it is to spawn multiple containers from a docker image. So in this demo we first examined our Spring Boot app and saw its rest endpoints. Next we added the docker maven plugin from Spotify and built our Spring Boot app. This plugin creates a docker image of our app. Finally we demonstrated how we can launch and access multiple containers using this image. Thanks for watching.